My name is Bonnie Dreesen. I'm uh, from Kokona, Wisconsin, and my age is going to be 65 in two months. When I first found out I had the cancer, I had a hard time believing it. I was never a sickly person. I never went to the doctor. When I went to see the doctor, um, I went there because I had a rapid heartbeat, and uh, they couldn't bring it. So while they were waiting for the ambulance to uh, take me to the hospital, then they did a chest x-ray, and then I was told a very small uh, spot on my lung, and they wanted to check it out, so then they did a biopsy, and yes, it was cancerous, and and the next uh, procedure was just to have uh, the right lobe, upper lobe, removed. And the surgeon at that time said uh, he got it all, but the lung doctor said, just for precautionary, he will give you chemo. Well. I got so violently ill on the chemo, I was actually uh, crawling on my hands and knees, that's how sick I was. And I kept telling them how sick I was, and it was just like falling on deaf ears, and they just get, kept After giving me more. The fourth treatment, the doctor said, well, Maybe we have the wrong regimen here. And this is after I lost 30 pounds, mind you. And I said, well, do you think? And this was like uh, November, December, and January. Well, then I went back in March, and I said, I want you to find out what is wrong with me. Well, then they did a CAT scan and found that uh, the lung cancer had metastasized to my kidney and that my kidney would have to come out. So then at this time, uh, Karen Kilsdunk, uh, said when I went in for the surgery to have the, the kidney done that let's go with precision therapeutics and find out what kind of treatment would best be tolerated by you. I feel like I'm really blessed that I got this, this uh, opportunity to have the test done. I just feel everybody should have that option that at least they would be going in there and having some idea of uh, this was recommended for you, for your cancer, not Joe Blow's, and not how, how they've been doing it for years, and and uh, and this worked on somebody else, and maybe it'll work on you, and maybe it won't, and and uh, you're told up front too with this with this test that it's it, there's no guarantees that this is going to work, but it's a better shot than what I had before. It, I just cannot believe how I can go through this treatment that was recommended for me, and I'm not violently ill. I'm, uh, my body can tolerate it, and hopefully, and I, I've got a lot, a lot of hope, that this time it'll shrink or show some positive results on what they're doing. I'm in control of my, my treatments and my results. And this is only one place. Get these people what I got, a little hope, and, uh, and maybe, maybe you can do something to, to get it right. On Friday, I had a CAT scan, and it came out great. Uh, we had tears and everything, just tears of joy, just knowing that that tumor was shrinking and, and uh, that the treatment was working. We just have high hopes that it's going to shrink more and the other one's going to start shrinking. And I just wish that more people would be aware that this test is available to have done just because it just gives you a more of a peace of mind or a direction or uh, hope, you know, that, uh, that you can beat this thing.